This video will give an overview of a work in progress tool called Box Jelly. Briefly, I will talk about Box Jelly's purpose, key user interface components, and available operations. Box Jelly is a tool for viewing and editing object tracks and video. There are two elements in that sentence. The first one is object tracks, and the second one is video. An object track is a set of data that describes the location of some object of interest over time. Box Jelly represents object tracks as identified, labeled sequences of bounding boxes spanning a number of frames in a video. Each track consists of an ID, which is just some number, a label, for example fish, and a list of bounding boxes, each one consisting of a position and a size. In a video, there may be several objects of interest at any given time. Keeping track of multiple objects at the same time is referred to as multiple object tracking, or MOT for short. In short, Box Jelly provides a way to visualize and edit MOT data. In case you want to try Box Jelly for yourself, you can find it at bitbucket.org slash ambari slash box jelly. Box Jelly is a Python application, so as a prerequisite, you will need Python 3 installed. The remaining installation instructions are provided on this page. Again, Box Jelly is a work in progress. Some elements, namely the video player, may not work yet on your computer. To start Box Jelly, open a terminal in the repository directory and run python boxjelly.py. Here we can see the main interface. First, we need to open a video and a corresponding list of object tracks. I'll press Ctrl O and select a video and a track file. In this case, the tracks I'm using are the outputs of a machine learning object detection and tracking algorithm trained on still frame images of benthic animals. On the left, we can see each track with its ID and label presented in a timeline view. This way, we can visualize when each track begins and ends in the video. The numbers at the top show the video frame number. We can scroll vertically to show other tracks, or horizontally to show another portion of the video. Holding control while scrolling will zoom the view horizontally, changing the time scale displayed. Clicking on tracks in the list on the left will select them. Control can be used to select multiple tracks, or Shift can be used to select contiguous spans. Lastly, clicking on the ruler at the top will jump the video to a particular frame. The vertical red line represents the current frame shown of the video. All of the editing operations, which I'll get into later, happen within this track panel. On the right, we can see the video itself. Here we can watch the video with all of the bounding boxes rendered on top. The video panel is synchronized with the track panel, so as we play the video, we can see the currently displayed tracks on the left. Spacebar will play or pause the video. Frames can be then skipped using the left or right arrow keys. By default, this happens one frame at a time, but can be modified to 10, 100, or 1000 frames at a time by holding Control, Shift, or Control and Shift, respectively. The video player can be zoomed and panned by scrolling and dragging to get a closer look. If needed, the player could be undocked from the main interface and repositioned. Beyond visualizing multiple object tracks in video, Box Jelly provides a minimal set of track editing operations. Currently, there are four. Number one is rename, which you can do with control R. Number two is split, control N. Number three is merge, control M. And number four is delete with the delete key. Any of these operations can be undone with control Z or redone with control shift Z. If we need to rename one or more tracks, we can select them and plus control R. Then we can specify the new label to be applied. Sometimes a track may need to be split in two parts. We can do this by selecting a track, scrubbing the video to where we want to split, and pressing Control N. This will trim the original track, creating a new track with the latter portion past the split point. Conversely, we may need to merge several tracks into one. This can be done by selecting the tracks we want to merge and pressing Control M. This will create a new merged track and delete the original tracks. The merged track will take on the earliest track label. 
If there are gaps between the merged tracks, they will be filled in as blank. That is to say, no bounding box for those frames. If there is overlap, data from the later tracks will overwrite the earlier tracks. If we want to delete tracks, we can select the tracks we want to delete and press the DEL key. To persist our changes, we can press Ctrl S and save the current tracks to a file. 